We have breaking news this lunchtime. Russian officials have said that Ukraine tried to attack the Kremlin with drones, alleging that it is a terrorist act and underlines their right to respond. Well, we're joined now by former Air Vice Marshal Sean Bell. And, Sean, we're getting reports now, a video on, on Russian social media, apparently showing a plume of smoke over the Kremlin. What do we know about what's happened? Well, as ever, Jane, we're in an information war at the moment, so uh, details are very um, sparse. What we it, Apparently, two drones were attacking the Kremlin last night, um, but it's very difficult to tell exactly what has happened. After all, there's an information war going on. Um, Ukraine has made clear that they've been doing attacks in an asymmetric approach, but tend to be targets just over the border into Russia. Nothing quite as outrageous as this. But it is worth pointing out that uh, Moscow has been preparing lines to take in the event that Ukraine does gain some ground on its forthcoming spring offensive. And there are a lot of commentators that believe that Moscow will launch a few sort of false flag uh, incidents inside Russia to focus Russia uh, domestic um, audience on the fact that Russia needs to protect its own people and therefore almost justifying whilst it isn't so successful in Ukraine because actually it's protecting its own forces. But the truth is, at the moment, um, Ukraine is doing... Uh, lots of activity with drones. Uh, we've seen uh, the fire just the other day at Sevastopol. There's another fire overnight just to the east of the Kirk's Bridge, which looks like it was a drone attack. And likewise, there was uh, a, um, a rail train in Russia was derailed uh, just near Belgorod, apparently, uh, very recently. So there's lots of asymmetric attacks, but it does feel odd that uh, Ukraine will be as so audacious as to mount something in Moscow. I'm sure more details will come out. We'll get it to you just as soon as we've got it. Mm. OK, thanks very much, Sean.